And we are giving you an inside look at the action going on in our state government. It is part of our partnership at Arizona Capital Times newspaper. And this week, Senate President Russell Pierce's recall election. It will take center stage as the state Supreme Court takes up legal challenges. Jim Small joins us this morning. And Jim, what will these justices be tackling? This has been an ongoing legal challenge. Yeah, it has been. Basically, they're going to be deciding whether the recall can proceed, whether the signatures that were turned in and the forms that those signatures were on are, in fact, valid. And uh, you, there, there's a little bit of dispute. Russell Pierce's camp is fighting it, saying, hey, there's some problems here. There's some inconsistencies. It doesn't meet the Constitution. So they've petitioned the court and asked the court to basically call off the election. So far, uh, the lower courts have both uh, a, a trial court agreed that, uh, or, or disagreed with that stance and said that the election should continue forward. And so it lands in front of the Supreme Court justices tomorrow, and, and they should render a verdict very quickly because obviously early ballots have to be printed here in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. How quickly do you think the Supreme Court will resolve this? So in the next couple I, you know, of days. Yeah, absolutely. I think most people expect probably a ruling, you know, maybe by the end of the week, at, at the latest, maybe the early early part of next week. I want to shift gears here. I was reading your blog uh, this morning, and you talked about uh, Senate, uh, the Senator, the Senate Ethics Committee, uh, tomorrow taking up the, the, the complaint against Senator Scott Bundgaard. Can you go into a little more detail about that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, after he entered a no-contest plea a couple of weeks ago to uh, a couple of domestic violence charges, uh, a Democrat filed an ethics complaint. Senate Ethics Committee tomorrow will be meeting to decide whether to pursue with a formal investigation and a formal hearing. And if that happens, uh, basically uh, this five-member panel would call a bunch of witnesses, would hear testimony, would interview people, and decide whether Senator Bungard, in fact, A, broke, I, I guess, state law, and, and also whether he violated the rules of the Senate uh, in, in any way. And if that's the case, if they find that way, and they could vote to, to either censure him and, and punish him somehow, or it, I think the worst that could happen would be that they could actually vote to, to expel him, and, and that could go to a vote of the entire Senate. All righty, Jim Small with the Arizona Capital Times. As always, we appreciate you joining us. And a reminder, you can check out Jim's blog on abc15.com right now. Just click on the Top Story section.